off. So, I, I, I was going to come up here and, and talk about my career, my future. I'm going to make a joke about how I want to be a dragon. Um, but I know that's not a very realistic dream. Um, I'm never going to be a dragon. But I think it still makes for a cool story. And that's actually what brought me to the course, is I always wanted to tell cool, interesting stories. Um, but, you know, over the time I was here, I've kind of realized that I had a very poor idea, um, you know, of the means you needed to you know, go through to tell a story. Because <laughs> I always thought you needed, you know, like a pen or a script or something to verbalize something, that would be a story. But in, 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 in this medium, that's not the case. Most of it um, is down to editing, actually. Editing is probably the single most powerful story and telling tool in this medium. Um, at least I think so. Uh, you can you, you know you can create everything you want. You know, it's, you can personify a lot of actions through editing. If you want to slow, you know, show like deliberation, you can slow down the shots. You can hold shots for longer. Um, so there's a lot you can do there. Um, so we also see a lot of recuts and re-releases of films. Um, because editing is so important, even minor changes can affect so much in a film, just the tone and, and you know, the, the sort of visual style as well. Um, so there's a couple there. But um, the, the, the person I was looking at who really inspired me a lot was an was a, a, a indie filmmaker called Adam Butcher. He makes um, short films for himself. Uh, one of his most famous films is called The Internet Story, which is about like, a he, he writes for himself, for himself, he directs himself, and he edits himself as well. Um, you see over there in the top right hand corner, he did some uh, did rotoscoping. Mm -hmm. um, so he basically drew over each individual frame. Um, it's quite intensive work, but also he likes to play with visual effects a lot. Um, you see in the film Arcadia down here, um, he created like a cardboard office, and it was just a green screen, but everything, you know, they, he created these cardboard props and then put these actors inside. Um, so he's, he's really utilizing the power of, of you know, editing and special effects there. But now, nowadays, um, he makes idents for BBC One and, well, not BBC One, BBC Parliament, and he did a couple for Doctor Who as well. Um, so basically how he got there was he created um, a huge portfolio of work, um, just so he made films for, you know, again and again and again. Loads of them got recognized, and eventually he could go to a media company and say, you know, I'm not feckless, give me a chance. Um, and, and, and that's what happened, so he, 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 I think he's still doing that at the moment. Um, yeah, so I kind of think this is really narcissistic and a bit pointless, because I don't agree with the merits of this unit, but I'll get on with that. But that's why, where I'd like to go, maybe, is, um, is, is try and explore, you know, the means of storytelling to editing. Um, how I'd get there would be working for myself, um, you know, like Adam uh, Butcher did, you know, he created a, a nice um, a collection portfolio of, of work. Uh, and I think I'd, I'd probably do the same, and probably not go into like film as a professional capacity, but just as a, as a sort of a hobby and, and follow it through, you know, like Adam did. Um, but that's just. <laughs> Any questions for Harry? So, as you're saying, um, what, what's the guy's name again? Adam Butcher. So you want to sort of do like he does, because I guess if you work even for a small media company, you don't have as much creative freedom. Yes, yeah, yeah. And that obviously takes away from the storytelling. So yeah, so I mean, he works. He still makes his short films, but he works, you know, doing ideas most of the time. Um, you know, so that's how he makes his, his living. But um, I think uh, I think still his passion lies in making his own films. And his own stories, and that's where my passion lies as well. So. so you take this step, you take the same step, and sort of split the two: work and also yeah, still doing films yeah. because you want to. You've got passion. To yeah, it. I mean, you know, uh, probably a, a, a lot of filmmakers out there who, go, you know, who have their own stories and expect to go out and, and make a blockbuster film, you know, but there's, there's just not that much money out there, and there's not you know those many opportunities. So I think. Uh, I think you know working for yourself on that small scale is is the only ever alternative alternative unless you want to work for a big company doing something that's not necessarily your idea. <coughs> so, yeah. 
Ja. Das. Ja, dann auch so. Mach ruhig. Danke.